Everybody, here's the new dog park. Brand new, everybody. I like your puppy. Yeah, yeah, he's nice. He's just very oh, nice. He's crazy. Oh, so Hi, puppy. What's his name? Oh. Cafe. Like Cafe con leche. Hey, you're so cute. Hey, his name is Coco Bean. Coco Beans. Coco Beans. Oh Beans. my god. Uh -huh. Say hello, Coco Bean. Coco Bean, you're so cute. Uh -huh. You're puppy, baby. Hi. You're so cute. Can I take a picture? Sure. Hey. Uh -huh. That's a sweet picture. Uh -huh. You're so cute. Everybody, look at all the people walking with the dogs. Look at this. It's a puppy parade. All the beautiful dogs. Puppy parade. Hi. Oh, this looks just like Lucky. Hey, it does. Uh -huh. Uh, that's pets. a good one right there. That's a good yeah. one. <laughs> he likes the pets. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Of course. Hi. Hi, Sparky. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Uh, jump, it's okay, I'm doing a video for YouTube. Nice. Come here. Take a look at the camera. Oh, look at this little puppy. Sit. Sit. Uh, there you go. Oh, hi. Hey, Shay. Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's his height. Oh, Don't worry, we have four dogs. Alright, cool. Hey. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, hi. You're so cute. Betty Wright. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> hi. Come here. There we go. That's a good video right there. Good afternoon. This has to be one of the coolest ribbon cuttings ever. <laughs> this is amazing. I can't stop cheesing. Uh, this is so good. It's so cool that I, I, I actually went and grabbed my son from preschool so that he can, he can experience this uh, with me. So Zion, I'm glad you're here. Um, I too want to recognize um, a couple of my colleagues. Um, you're going to be hearing from uh, Michelle Tallarico. And um, I also want to, I want to, I want to say how big of a deal today is because Lynette, <laughs> Lynette I never really comes to any because she's so busy. She really is. She has a lot going on. So it's really special, Lynette, to have you. Here today. Thank you for, to both of you for your collaboration and your work as we advance city flourishing. Let's give them a round of applause. So to everybody else, thank you for being here. It is a joy uh, to be with you as we together celebrate the opening of Antlers Dog Park. Do you, don't you just love the sound of that? I know yes. I do. Um, this is the first dog park in downtown Colorado Springs. Wow. Yeah. That's a big deal. And so today we truly get to live up to our reputation and, and our ranking as the number one pet friendly city in the country. I bet a lot of you didn't know that. That is so true. So in this spirit, I do want to welcome our four-legged friends to the very first dog park in downtown Colorado Springs. So from city officials and staff, to city partners and advocate, your hard work, dedication, and passion have made this vision a reality. And I see a number of the city staff here too, including the K-9 folks. And uh, our K-9 unit is in the house. Brian Kelly, the team, I see you guys. Thanks for bringing our favorite K-9 as well. So thank you everyone for making this vision a reality. Together we have created a space that will bring joy and laughter to countless dogs and their owners for years to come. So I want to express again thank you to the city staff led by the Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Services Department, um, led by Director Britt Haley, the Office of Accessibility, led by 
Rob Hernandez, and the Parkin Enterprise, red, led by Rich Milady, for your efforts to make this beautiful, accessible, and convenient dog park in the heart of our wonderful downtown of reality. Susan Edmondson, I see you too, and Chelsea Gondek from the Downtown Partnership have also been incredible partners in supporting this effort. By working together, we have been able to create a space that provides a safe and fun environment for our furry friends and their owners, including all you who live downtown. If you live downtown, in downtown Colorado Springs, can I just see a show of hands? Yeah. You guys are so cool, by the way. As well as if you're visiting downtown, one of our shops or restaurants from other places across the city, this place is for you. Or if you're staying in one of the many hotels downtown too. I'm also grateful to the support of and input from our residents who actually helped envision the new use of the Antlers Park. Furthermore, my immense gratitude to all our residents who voted for the city to retain those Tabor dollars in November, 20, in November 2019, because of your votes and because of your investment, we were able to fund the remaking of this space, which is the final project of the historic downtown park improvement, what we're calling the Triple A's, Acacia, Alamo Square, and of course, Antlers. So that's where we're fighting. So, in conclusion, as we gather to cut the ribbon, and officially open this dog park. Let us take a moment to reflect on the blessing of our city, city's parks and open spaces. Parks not only provide recreational opportunities for people and their pets, but also serve as gathering places, natural habitats, and havens of tranquility in our, in our bustling urban landscape. So thank you once again, every one of you for your support and for your commitment to create an inclusive, culturally rich, economically prosperous, safe, and vibrant, pet-friendly city on a hill that shines brightly. Together, we are Colorado Springs. Woo! Congratulations to all of us. Onward and upward. Uh, I'm 100% gonna start with the fact that I am completely distracted by all of your adorable dogs. Um, but wow, what a great turnout today. Thank you to all of you for making it, and a special shout out to those of you who came in our downtown dog parade. Um, as, you, ooh, me. as you may know, um, we did a call out to our residents to join this downtown dog parade because our downtown is a growing neighborhood. Uh, last year, we saw over 430 new units come online, and we have about 2,000 more that we're expecting in the next year and we have doubled the number of hotel rooms in our downtown over the last few years. So we are seeing the greatest number of visitors that we have ever seen. And we at the partnership know that Coloradans love their dogs. Uh, the feud between Team Cat and Team Dog in our office was alive and well up until the moment I started coming over here today. Um, but we know that Coloradans like to travel with their dogs and we also know that when they move into an urban environment, they need somewhere to take their dogs besides some of our downtown medians. Um, so we are super excited for our first downtown dog park um, and we are so appreciative of the parks department and our friends there who really prioritized this project. Uh, not only is it a resident amenity but it's a meaningful way to reactivate one of our beloved uh, historic downtown parks so hard to promote all of the things that make Colorado Springs downtown a vibrant place, including and especially this dog park work. And Chelsea is wonderful. If you don't know it, she also is, serves on the Trails of Open Space and Parks Working Committee, so she's right there at the heart of things helping us out, and we really do appreciate that. Now, it, now it's really my uh, pleasure to introduce a person who we also very much appreciate, and that is our council member for District 3, Michelle Tallarico. Near Bear Creek Park, and so we're about a quarter of a mile away, and when Rudy came to us in during COVID, we spoiled him literally like a baby. I think we would have fed him if he needed it. We 
rock <laughs> so now he thinks he's a human and that's the biggest problem that we have with Rudy but these spaces are the kind of spaces that all of us need um, for, for our dogs and for our sanity and just for our quality of life so again I just want to thank everybody for being here and this is so exciting to see all of these people and all of these dogs and thank you Britt so much um, I'm thrilled to be here today to celebrate this beautiful new dog park in Colorado Springs. It's a momentous occasion for our community as we celebrate the revitalization of this historic park and the addition of this incredible amenity, and it is definitely that. Parks, as you all know, play a crucial role in enhancing, enhancing the quality of life for residents of our city. They provide a space for recreation, relaxation, and connection with nature. And I have to say, this grass is looking so beautiful. Um, the addition of this dog park not only provides a safe and fun place for our furry friends to play and socialize, but it also promotes a sense of community among pet owners. It gives them a space to come together, share stories, and build relationships. The revitalization of Antlers Park is also significant for our downtown area. Parks are known to increase property values and attract businesses, making them a vital component of economic development. By investing in our parks, we are investing in the overall well-being and prosperity of our community. I am confident that the new dog park at Antlers Park will benefit not only downtown residents and businesses, but the entire community. It will bring people together, promote healthy and active lifestyles, and contribute to the beauty and vibrancy of our city. I want to express my gratitude to all of those who have been involved in making this project a reality. Your hard work and dedication have truly made um, an amazing difference. Big dog. Hey, come here. Look at you. Look at you. Hey, come here. Hi. Everybody, here's the new dog park. Brand new, everybody. In downtown Colorado Springs. Brand new dog park. Ah. Uh... Hey, Stan. Stan, can you sit? Sweet. Ah, uh, he could do tricks. Look at that, guys. Oh boy. Thank you. <laughs> can you shake my hand? Shake. Hey, hey good puppy. Good shake. Ruby, <laughs> come on. Ruby, come on. Come on, puppy. Come on. She's like, no, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> 